the fourth time now, the Adidas Skateboard Clash brought international skateboard flavor to Berlin. Pros and amateurs from around the globe came together and seemed to enjoy the place and had a good time. Yo, this is Adidas, Clash number four in Berlin. The boys skated and battled like there was no tomorrow in the qualifications for street and bowl with hard tricks, so there was definitely something to be expected in the finals. The street course is a course that the guys can do lots of things on, not just straight line tricks, but three-dimensional as well. And we'll see that with them, especially with the creative skaters. In the street competition, it was a pretty close battle with the cream of the crop skating, but the judges had their job to do, and Lukas Danik from Prague came out in third place with a sweet run. Second place was taken by the man from Berlin, Michael Makroth, here with a balance act on the piano. How good the field of riders was, was demonstrated by the half-German, half-American race, Dennis Busenitz. With incredible speed, he destroyed this park and showed some creative uses of this course. Rightly, first place for him. Dennis was also sold on the atmosphere of the Adidas Clash. In America, I fahre ich nie mit den uh, Amateuren mit. In America, I never compete with the amateurs. It's more separated, amateurs and pros. Here, all people skate together. Everybody drops in as he likes. That was good, because the amateurs battle more, because they're still hungry. In the bowl, there were amateurs in the mix too, and the level was insane once again. Crisscross craziness was in play, and the ranking in the end was not all that important for most of these skaters. Hey, you just want to do your best. It's not about being better or worse. You just want to do your personal best and do tricks that you maybe didn't stick before. Sometimes you're a little bit faster on your deck than in the open practice, but you just have to be happy with your own skating, and if the others are better or worse, it doesn't really matter. Und ähm, man muss einfach für sich selber zufrieden sein. Und ob die anderen jetzt besser oder schlechter sind, das ist äh, eigentlich relativ egal. At 34 years old, Tilo was the oldest in the bowl, but nevertheless rocked it and finally ended up in fourth place. Dennis, the winner of the street comp, was again on the fast track in the bowl, but in the end, it was just third place for him. Better in the judges' eyes was the run of Martin Jurasek from the Czech Republic, who collected his points with high and stylish airs. And of course there was the floating style of local Jürgen Horvath, who knows this bowl the best. We had a good show and it's always hard to pick a winner where everybody is going nuts and doing crazy stuff. I don't know. But we know that Jürgen really can be proud of his win and this super contest weekend that he helped organize.